I want to ask you about the PSL holder survey that's being talked about. What is the PSL holder survey and what do you hope to accomplish through that? Well, the PSL uh, holder survey, it really is a matter of getting us information. Um, it, it's, it, it's a series of hypotheticals. Um, people who are a lot smarter than, than, than me, um, really it's, it's people who do this for a living even outside of our building. We've brought in to ask the right series of questions uh, to, to ultimately get us information about what does the market want to see uh, in a new stadium in terms of seating products, you know, how, how, many, uh, how, many, how many seats in a certain area, how many seats of a certain character. You know, frankly, what is, what is the appropriate pricing for some of these, both from a PSL perspective uh, and a, an annual season ticket price perspective. Th this is information that we don't have unless we ask these questions. And uh, we, we have a general sense on some of it, but we also just needed to make sure that this was really going to happen uh, post city council vote before we went out and really asked this level of questions um, so that there's no confusion. Uh, if anyone took this survey, there's really no telling the questions that they would be getting in terms of you know, the types of offerings that, that may be attractive to them or the, the, the pricing on different things. It literally is a scientifically designed survey to create these hypotheticals that will ultimately deliver information for us that we'll be able to take back and look at and start to make some of these decisions about what is the right seating products, you know, how does pricing work, uh, you know, that sort of thing. So we're, we're very interested to get that information back and so we can continue to, to work towards finalizing the design of the building and, and thinking about next steps. What's been the most common question that you have gotten from anybody in the last three and a half weeks? Uh, I mean, the, one of them is, do I have this right? Is this building actually gonna happen now? <laughs> and, and so it's, it's, a, it's a real thrill to say, yes, it is, it's gonna happen. We do get a lot of questions from PSL holders about what's next. When would I have an opportunity to purchase a PSL in the new building? What would that process look like? And unfortunately, it's, a, it's, it's still a little bit of an unsatisfying answer because uh, the answer is we're hard at work figuring that out. And it'll probably be till later this year that we really have a defined process and we know more and can answer those questions with, with a level of specificity. Um, like everything in this process, we've tried to take this mantra of measure twice, cut once. Um, we could probably get some answers really quickly, but I'm not sure they're the right answers. I'm not sure it's the right plan. And so we are, we are taking our time to make sure that we're making the right decisions, we're coming up with the right plans and the right processes. So uh, in response to that question about future building PSLs and what the process looks like, Unfortunately, need to ask for just some more patience while we continue to make sure that we're doing all the right work to make sure that we get this right. But the enthusiasm is overwhelming. Oh, People absolutely. are so fired up. Absolutely, it's it's. Uh, I, I think you know we've we've put out design pictures, uh, whatever, probably six or seven months ago, and to start to think about that building being a reality in our city. Um, and for those who understand what this neighborhood around this building will look like, uh, potentially. This is just a total paradigm shift. And for, for whether somebody's lived here for 80 years or has only been here for the last you know, five or six years, just the idea that uh, that little section of town right now that is currently just a sea of asphalt would be transformed into something just so special uh, for this city, for everyone in this city. And that, oh, by the way, there's this game-changing stadium uh, that will be uh, there as well, whether for Titans fans, whether for people who don't frankly care about football, but, but the things that will come through that building uh, in terms of cultural experiences, I mean, it's clearly not at all too big to be dreaming about Super Bowls and Final Fours. And um, the idea of those things coming to Nashville um, is, is really just exciting. It's, uh, I get a lot of smiles and, uh, and, and handshakes just looking forward to, to what's next here.